guys it's been i think a year since we did a grocery haul what yeah. has it been like over here maybe and we thought it's a great time to do an updated grocery haul a lot has changed i don't know we just thought we'd do an upgraded upgrade it's an upgraded <laughs> i was thinking about the greater upgraded <laughs> so we do an updated like what we eat in a week and our grocery haul since a lot has changed in one year we're currently in the parking lot of the grocery store right now so we're gonna get in there quick. We don't wanna to talk too much. This is just mm -hmm. a little tiny intro, but we wanna get in there and start the video. So let's show you guys exactly what's in our grocery cart for mm -hmm. the week. Ah, they look so good, but taste so bad. We start off with some red peppers. They are a staple. We pretty much use them in every single dish that we make. The vegetables will change depending on what type of dishes we're doing for the week. Here you'll find Alana choosing between a red pepper or a green pepper from Wish. Firm believer in broccoli being one of the most healthy vegetables you can ingest. We get spinach every time. It's super rich in carotenoids, which boosts immunity. Ah yes, tomatoes or tomatoes every single time. Very good for the male reproductive system. Sweet taters. This is our starch, AKA also carbs. Cilantro goes with everything. The best. Heading over to the berries. Thinking about the raspberry, eh, no, maybe the blackberries. Uh, they don't look that great. Let's go to the blueberries. Blueberries, nah, this packaging not looking good. They are organic, but they look a little weird. Go around to the side and we found the good ones. These are good sized berries. They come from organic farm and these are the ones we're choosing. Getting some limes, we put lime in everything. Always gotta get bananas. I usually get them and never eat the bananas and end up freezing them and using them for my smoothies. Alan is a big mango girl and pineapple girl, but the pineapple doesn't look good right now. The apples are in season. It's the best time of the year. So get a couple of those. Bet you guys didn't know avocado was a fruit or maybe you did, but avocado is probably one of the best things you can put in your body. Healthy fats. Got to get the frozen berries for my smoothies. Time to indulge in the omega-3 fatty acids. Now the fish at Whole Foods, I'm gonna be honest, it's not the best all the time. Uh, I usually come over here and just get the smoked salmon because it comes from a place up in Santa Barbara, which is well sourced. But you know, the crab, the shrimp, uh, I don't know. Recently I've just been roasting a whole chicken and eating it throughout the week. It's great to put in every meal, but this time we're just gonna go with the classic chicken breast. The best option here is going for the pasture raised slow growth. When it comes to red meat, we are extremely picky. I only go with this one brand called Force of Nature and they sell venison and elk meat, which is, I personally think is some of the best red meat you can get. When it comes to meat, it's just really important to get pasture raised meat. That's from a good source. Every now and then we will get some pork. I think it's kind of a dirty animal, but it's just so hard to stay away from bacon sometimes. That shit is insane. But yeah, uh, steak every once in a while, maybe once a week. I love tuna fish i eat it every now and then for a quick meal alana thinks it smells and tastes like cat food grass-fed butter is a must-have so they were actually out of the eggs that we usually get but we look for pasture raised you want your eggs to have a nice orangish looking yolk that means that the chicken is healthy so we don't eat dairy especially me i think i have an intolerance to it it gives me allergies but something i have been doing recently is getting grass-fed raw cheddar cheese Raw cheese is not pasteurized, so it keeps all the good bacteria. Every once in a while, I will get some turkey deli meat just to make some quick sandwich sandwiches, just to make some quick sammies throughout the week in case we have a busy schedule. Okay, so these are some sauces that we love. This is coconut sriracha. It tastes exactly like sriracha, but it doesn't have all those sugars. Um, this is something we have called coco minos. It's like a substitute to soya sauce, but it's way better and it doesn't have any salt. Um, I also get this low sodium organic soya sauce um, because I love Asian food. I hate mustard more than anything in the world. Like there's nothing that I hate more than this, but I will love it, so we're gonna get it. So we get this uh, avocado mayo, which is way healthier than the regular store-bought one and it has better oils. So these are sauces from Primal Kitchen and I'm not gonna get them now because our fridge is like stocked with them. We have like 20 of these sauces in our fridge. But this is usually like a brand that we trust and we use. It's made with all good ingredients. This is one of our favorite snacks. It is salsa. I would love to like learn how to make salsa, but till we do that, here's a store-bought one that we love. This is a pasta sauce that we love. I'm not gonna lie to you and say it's healthy. It's not, it's full of sugar, but it tastes good. So yeah, we get it. Bread is also something I try to limit in our diet, but we get this sourdough bread from this pretty good company. So this is the pasta that we get. It's usually organic and we either get this or angel hair. This is one of the best sources of fiber that I eat pretty regularly in the morning. And we add some maple syrup to it. 
Like I said, I love Asian food, so noodles is a staple in our household. I like getting these rice noodles. Getting into the not so healthy grains, but these serve as like nice little snacks. So you just gotta make sure that they're using the right oils when they're cooking with them. These, I think we got PR one time and Alana really likes them. I haven't even tried them to be honest. This is her, this is way too overpriced look and she's contemplating whether she should get them or not. I have peanut butter every single day. Uh, we stock up on peanut butter. I think we have seven jars of peanut butter, but we probably will just get another one. This is by far my favorite snack. A little fig bar at night. Okay, I love ramen more than anything in the world. And I just love how quick and easy it is, especially on a day I have a lot of work. This one is my favorite organic brand. I get the frozen uncooked tortillas because I feel like it's better for you. And this is a giant bag of rice, the basmati. And it's very heavy. So I need to get to the car. Okay, we take dessert in this house very seriously. One of our favorite things to have after dinner is cookies and ice cream. I think I've repeated myself a thousand times, but everything we get is a good alternative. So this has 40% less sugar and it's all organic. Um, and then of course, ice cream to go with freshly baked cookies. We get organic, dairy-free vanilla bean. Alana is here currently pleading her case on why we must have smart sweets in the house tonight. So I guess we'll be throwing those in the cart. If we're gonna do chocolate, I prefer dark, but Alana likes milk and this passion fruit one, which is actually terrible. I would not suggest it at all. Gotta get my mushroom coffee, sounds gross, but I'm telling you this stuff is the real deal. Babe, look at me, I can fly. Oh, okay, I almost just hurt myself. This is for my smoothies. I get the coconut unsweetened. This is Alana's favorite drink, the lollipop, and I will sneak a couple of these without her knowing. And that's a wrap on the grocery store. Oh, almost just backed into somebody. Yeah, please be careful. But so the next video that we're gonna put out, we just wanna do a basic grocery run with this, and the next one will be recipes and meal prepping for the week. Yeah, like what we actually eat yeah. in the week using these ingredients. But we're gonna use we're gonna do that on a separate video. So. But basically, I'm sure that you guys, like, from all the ingredients that you did see that we do get, we do, like, 80-20, which is, like, 80% of whatever we get is really healthy, clean stuff. Even if it's cookies, it'll be, like, it won't be, like, full of sugar. It'll be, like, less sugar, maybe with good ingredients, honey, like, sugar substitutes. And then 20% of what we get is junk. Most of the 20% of the junk is stuff that I like. But, um, <laughs> yeah, balance is good, I think. And I also think and it's like really important to cook from home as well and that keeps your diet extremely healthy because when you yeah. have other people, restaurants cooking for you, they yeah. use, they, I mean, you don't really know what they're using yeah. and they could be using these really terrible oils that are having an effect yeah. on your body, so. You think you could be eating like a really like healthy salad, but the truth is that it's a Caesar salad and that dressing is so bad, it's made with bad eggs, it has mayo, it has oil, it has like all the shit in it. And that's like the number one reason of when people are like, oh, I'm like eating out, but I'm like eating healthy, but like you're still eating out, so you don't really know what's going in your food. And yeah. I think the most we... important thing, just like anything in life, is just have balance. Yeah, literally, that's the number. That's why I said like balance, like we do 80 20, which is like 80% healthy, but we also like make sure that we indulge in things. And that way, yeah, your life's balanced, you're getting to enjoy the little treats, but you're also like being healthy. Also, there's yeah. so many different perspectives out there when it comes to the diet. You just kind of yeah. have to figure out what works for you. But 80-20 is literally like what my mom wrote her book about. It's called Balance and it's that it's not really a diet, but it's a lifestyle. Because diets don't last. Any extreme dieting doesn't last. Like being vegan, paleo, keto, like all these things don't last. But they're so extreme. I've tried every diet yeah. just, just yeah. to try it. And, and I, you eventually just find foods that work well with your body. Yeah. And that's all you really need. Yeah, and it's just like being balanced. Like not really restricting too much and eating things in moderation. Like when I do eat my chocolate, I show you the guys that I like. I really, really like ramen and chocolate. And I'll try to eat it in moderation. So. Like the absolute worst diet that I ever did or like one of the diets was vegan. Vegan was so horrible on my body. Like I turned into just this like frail little chicken and I felt so horrible. My energy levels were low. Yeah. Uh, mood, I mean, I think a lot, of, a lot of people are going to debate you on this. Mood swings. This is, a, this is a touchy subject. That's fine. A lot and of it's okay. Like, and it's okay. But yeah. I think you just find what works for you. What, mm -hmm. what works for me is like having like a, a lot of meat in my diet. It makes, yeah. me, it makes me energized. It makes me feel good. You can make anything 
something that's considered un, an unhealthy food right like what is considered unhealthy like burgers pastas and you can make that clean you can make that like healthy yeah so we, we can, know I right we eat, pa- we eat pasta every time we eat burgers every time but we are breads the best bread you can get it doesn't have sugar in it the meat we have is the mess, best meat we get we don't deep fry our stuff we don't deep fry our fries we'll have like baked potato sweet fries uh, big potato sweet fries. Big potato sweet fries coming we'll right up. This sun is like crazy. This is gonna be like a full disco. I can already see it. But um, anyway, my point is that yeah, we're gonna do uh, what we eat in the week and yeah. As long as I feel like you cook your food and you're making sure that whatever's going in that is healthy. Well, then, and sourcing as well. Like yeah. finding, you have to find food that comes from good sources. You have exactly. to trust the people you're getting exactly. your food from. Exactly. Especially like in America, right? Because we have such a hierarchy when it comes to when it comes to food. Like there's either really good source food or absolute shit source food. Yeah. And most of America is eating this terribly sourced food and fast food on top of it because it's the cheapest options, but it's not yeah. always like the best options for you. So I think just find good sources and find things that work with your body. And you know, that's just our, that's our view on the whole situation. So yeah. now and, you have it. Yep. Do what they want with that information. And I, I promise you, if you do, if you just like balance what you eat and cook it yourself, to see what's going inside. You can eat anything you want without restricting yourself and like maintaining it. But obviously, you need to be active, right? You can't just eat whatever you want. Yeah, I and think then, exercise plays such a big part, yeah, along with shoot, sleep shoot, and shoot. proper hydration as well. Yeah. Oh my god, I can go on for I can go on like for hours. I know we can this, actually talk right? about this. I could do a full time. video on like how you can eat whatever you want because I get so many came like, I get so many so many comments like, do you eat like? Like what do you eat? There's no way you eat this much, and I'm like, we eat so much. I snack so much, but if you eat the right food in balance, and you're super active, there's nothing stopping you, right? Facts. You can home now, so. All right, so I think that's about it. Let's cheers, mate. Up. As I always say, and uh, yeah, look out for that recipe video because I'm actually really excited to shoot that. Yeah, because well, it's something that's that, gonna be a proper what we eat in a yeah. week, like breakdown of like. You so know? like all the all the stuff we just got from the store, we just generate meals out of those throughout the week, and they just vary. Um, so we'll go through that with you guys and show you guys exactly how we cook and what kind of spices we add and and we'll make it really detailed because I know that's something that we haven't done before. So yeah, if you're interested you in that, look out for that video. It'll be coming soon and we're really excited to shoot it for you guys. So.